What's going on everybody? We're going to take a SketchUp file and we're going to import that into Revit as a mass that then we can assign roof and wall materials to and start to build out our Revit model from our SketchUp massing model. So over here in SketchUp, what I've done is I've placed this building, I've right clicked and kind of made it a, uh, a group. And that group then under entity info I have on layer zero. I have other buildings and things uh, for the site uh, on here. So if I hold down uh, shift and uh, hold on shift here, click up, I can turn on uh, everything that's, that's in the model. And then from here, I'm gonna bring in uh, pieces, uh, piece by piece into, into Revit. So the first thing I wanna do is bring in my, my actual mass. And then from there, I'm gonna bring in the, the context of the surrounding sites. So when I do some renderings, uh, I'll have that available on its own layer, separate from our, our actual piece that we wanna bring in. So here I have it. And uh, I'm gonna go and do an export. So file, export, 3D model. And then from here, I'm gonna make sure that AutoCAD DWG is selected. And under options, I have everything checked. And I'm gonna just name this as like demo uh, one. And it's on my desktop, export. And a thing that you might want to check as you go here is uh, to double click your mouse wheel to do a zoom extents, just to make sure that you don't have anything like randomly off to the outside that could be coming in that you might have forgotten. So everything looks good. I double click the mouse wheel. So my zoom extents is good. Nothing else additional will be coming into this model. Then in Revit, we're going to go and we're going to open up a new mass file. So we're going to go to file, new conceptual mass and under the, this file we're going to choose the mass template that they have for us and say open in this file i'm going to go into insert import cad and here we're going to find the autocad file that we have so here's demo one under here i like to do just visible for the layers and then everything else is good i'm going to say open it's gonna look like it doesn't come in in this case because my file is rather large and off to the side. Uh, yours might be, uh, you might have to zoom out for yours as well. This huge box comes in with this, but it's not gonna be a problem. I like to unpin this and uh, then double click in and move this a little bit closer to these origins. So I'm gonna go to level one, zoom out and do the same. I'm gonna double click in and then I'm gonna go to my move command and I'm gonna click on the corner and just bring this closer to the origin. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier when we get into Revit to find our file. So I've double clicked in, that way I can uh, actually click on the geometry and then I'm gonna go and snap that. The reason I like to do this in level one is uh, I don't have to worry about it moving on me in the vertical direction. Uh, in 3D here, it's gonna be slightly lower than I want, uh, just in this case, because I was drawing on some, some crazy topography in SketchUp that was like sloping a little bit. And so in uh, Revit, I'll adjust the height on this building. So now that I have this, uh, we're all good. I'm gonna go and save this. So I'm gonna go to File, Save. And I'm gonna save this on my desktop. I'm gonna just call it Bridge Demo uh, 2. It's coming in as a Revit family. Under Options, I like to just do one backup file. I don't like to have three. I feel like it's too cluttered. And then I say save. Now that that's saved, let's open up a project. So I'm gonna to go to file, new project. You might have an existing project that you're just gonna open as well. I'm gonna go file, new project. I choose architectural template and I wanna create a new project. I'm gonna say okay. In this new project, we can go and we can open up our massing and site tab and we can go uh, place mass. It's gonna say, hey, we don't have a, uh, one loaded yet, do you want to load one? Yes. And then let's see where is that saved, bridge two, open. And then if I zoom out, I can see it. I'm in level one, that's why it's looking like it's coming in like this. So I'm gonna go and place that. You'll see that my elevation markers, since this is a large file, uh, are not large enough. So I'm gonna go and move those real quick by just highlighting it. And when I move this, I wanna make sure I go straight back so that way these, um, north and south elevation markers stay in line with each other. Otherwise, my elevations will get a little messed up. So I'm just clicking really anywhere, and then I'm just making sure I snap straight on a line. 
I go to move that, this one here, I'm just going to move it out a little bit as well. And then I'm going to do the same with this one here. Staying straight. Okay. Now that I have those, let's check on this thing in 3D. So in 3D, we're looking pretty good. Obviously, I have a lot of things to adjust with my levels and elevations. But here, now that I have this, uh, let's go and see um, if the mass came in correctly. So if I go here to, um, let's say, like massing and sites, and I want to create a roof on here, I can click on that uh, geometry on the top and say create roof. Let's say we want to make it a, uh, like a steel truss, insulation, flat roof. I can say create roof. Uh oh, did I, did I add that correctly? Let's see. Roof, click on it, great roof. All right, so now if we go to 3D, let's go to shaded. There's my roof that's on there that I've created. Uh, it's possible I create a couple. So if I do a, a quick selection filter, yeah, I have two roofs on there. So I had actually made it before. So I'm just going to delete that. If you're in shaded view, it's going to be a lot easier to see what you're making. Um, before I was in uh, hidden line, and it was hard to tell that I actually had created that roof on there. So if I want to adjust this roof now, I can. Uh, I can go and uh, tab over to it. And then with the tab, I can uh, just kind of graphically adjust it, or I can uh, go in and, and actually type in my dimensions if I was in like a level that was showing the roof nicely. So maybe in my site plan here, right? I can go in and, and type in what I want uh, for those dimensions. 